In this video, we are going to look at how to simplify fractional algebraic expressions. So if you are new to this channel, please consider subscribing, comment, hit the like button and share. So here is our first question. Simplify 2x plus 14 over 2x squared minus 98. Okay, so let's just rewrite this expression. Uh, so 2x plus 14 all over 2x squared minus 98. So when they say simplify, it means something is looking so big, so we need to make it look simple. Okay? So to simplify algebraic, fractional algebraic expression, first of all, you need to look at uh, the numerator and see if there's anything that you can factorize So when you look at the numerator here uh, Two can be factorized because it's common in both terms Okay, so two can be factorized. So we have two Two x divided by two will remain with x here then plus 14 divided by two is seven then all over, um, again, when you look at this, there is something that is common in both terms. So a 2 can also go in both terms, so we are going to factorize it. Then 2x squared divided by 2 is x squared minus 98 divided by 2 is 49. Now, this 2 and this 2 can cancel, then we'll have x plus 7 on the numerator, then all over. So when you look at this, uh, x squared minus 49, x squared is a, is a square number and 49 is a square number. So whenever you have a square, whenever you have two square numbers uh, subtracting each other, it means you have the, the form of uh, dots difference of two squares so the form of different of difference of two squares uh, states as follows if you have a number a square number a which is subtracting another square number b then you are going to have if you are to, if you are to factorize this you are going to have uh, this so you are going to have the square root of a is a you also write it here the square root of b is b you also write it here. Okay, so that's the difference of two squares. So now we're going to apply this here. So we have x squared minus 49 is 7 squared. So that we have this form, okay? So we're going to have x plus 7 all over. Then because we have this form, we're going to have this on the denominator so this plus then minus okay the square root of x squared is x you also write it here the square root of 7 squared is 7 you also write it here so you can see that on top here we have x plus 7 and x plus 7 so x plus 7 and x plus 7, these will cancel. Then we are remaining with 1 on top. So the answer now will be 1 all over this x minus 7. So this is the answer. Okay, let's look at the second example. You may pause the video, work it out, and then compare answers. Okay, so the second example says simplify this. So let's rewrite the expression so we have 1 minus 4x squared all over 1 plus 2x as usual we need to we need to check if the numerator can be factorized of course we have two square numbers subtracting each other so meaning we have a form of dots so the top part the numerator can be written as uh, 1 minus 4 is can be written as 2 squared then x squared all over 1 
uh, plus 2x then on top or on the numerator we're going to have this because this is now a difference of two squares then plus minus so the square root of 1 is 1 uh, we also write it here the square root of 2 squared is 2 then the square root of x is x then here we also have this then all over uh, this 1 plus 2x okay so you can see that we have 1 plus 2x 1 plus 2x so these will cancel so what is going to remain here is 1 minus 2x so this is the answer here is the third question we have simplify a minus 12 all over a squared minus 144 so please so you may pause the video and work out and then compare the answers later so let's first rewrite this expression so we have a minus 12 all over a squared minus 144 let's check if the numerator there's anything that that is common let's check if we can factorize the numerator so the numerator is already in its lowest terms so we are not going to do anything to the numerator so we are going to have a minus 12 all over um, on the denominator a squared is a square number and 144 is also a square number so because two square numbers are subtracting each other it means we are going to have uh, it means we have a difference of two squares situation so we are having we can write this as a squared minus 144 is same as 12 squared so now we are going to have a minus 12 all over because this is a difference of two squares we are going to have this uh, plus minus the square root of a squared is a you also write it here the square root of 12 squared is 12 you also write it here okay so you can see that on top here we have a, a minus 12 a minus 12 so uh, this and that will cancel we are dividing uh, so what is remaining is 1 all over a plus 12 so this is the answer thank you very much for watching if you are new to this channel please consider subscribing comment hit the like button and share see you in the next video goodbye